It's dinner time. Come cook with me. Hey everybody, it's Amanda from The Beals and I am making dinner. I'm filming this on Thursday and I'm eating pistachios when I do it. And um, I am cooking tacos and burritos, which were on my menu plan. So right now I'm frying up some ground turkey. And a lot of times I use ground turkey when I make tacos and burritos because the seasoning that I use is so flavorful that you don't really miss it. And in term, well, you don't miss the ground beef, I should say, because, you know, people are a little scared to use ground turkey in place of ground beef because it doesn't taste the same. And it, it doesn't. You don't want to have a turkey burger expecting it to taste like a ground beef burger. It tastes good in its own right. But it doesn't taste like a ground beef burger, you know what I'm saying? So when you're replacing it in certain dishes, if you expect it to taste just like ground beef, it doesn't always work. But like I said, I, I like to use it in dishes that are flavorful already, like chili or tacos, because, you know, there's so much seasoning, you get the same texture, pistachio, but you still get good flavor. So anyway, I'm heating this up, but... I'm also going to go in my fridge. If you saw yesterday, I did a, uh, well, it was today, but yesterday to you guys, <laughs> I did a um, pantry shop, and I went through everything that was in my fridge and my freezer and everything, and I have in my fridge and freezer some leftover black beans and some leftover rice, and so I'm going to put those together with some taco seasoning and make a ve vegan veggie type filling for my tacos as well. So I will probably eat the veggie version, maybe with a little cheese, it'll be a vegetarian version. And the family will probably eat the ground turkey. And I'm sure I will have some leftovers, but this will still be um, a quick and easy meal that everybody can enjoy. So what do we normally have on our tacos? I've probably mentioned it before, Again, my goal this week is to clean out the fresh things in the fridge. And I also, another thing that I'm trying to clean out is the open jars. So we have actually a couple of open jars of salsa. So that's another reason why I put tacos and burritos on the um, menu plan twice, because I want to make sure I use that as well. So we're definitely going to be using the salsa. I don't have any sour cream, and sour cream is something that I really enjoy on tacos. But I'm not going to go out and buy any because I'm not doing that this week. What I do have open is some ranch dressing, which I guess that's not really vegan either. <laughs> but I might put a little tiny dollop of ranch dressing on my um, taco just to kind of make up for that lack of sour cream. So we'll have a little ranch. We'll have salsa. And we have romaine and we have spinach. Both are great on tacos. And let's see, I'll make corn. I have a can of corn. We have the beans and rice. And I think that's probably all I'll do for this evening. Now, I am going to make, I have hard taco shells and soft taco shells. I'm probably going to go ahead and use the hard taco shells this time. Um, first of all, I personally prefer hard taco shells. <laughs> but also, again, I'm just trying to, I'm thinking that I want to use the tortillas for like tortilla pizza this week and some wraps maybe. So I don't want to use them all right now, but I will use them later in the week for our second batch of tacos. And if I don't, if for some reason I run out of tortillas and I don't have enough, then what I can do is, uh, and I'll let you know if I do, we'll find out is I can run to the store and get a bag of tortilla chips because I haven't bought any chips yet. I told, I warned you on my menu plan that we're going to be buying some uh, snacks for our travel. And so what I'll probably end up doing if I need to is just run to the store and get a bag of tortilla chips and we'll just take the rest of the bag with us on our trip. But I can use the tortillas and make like a little taco salad sort of thing. So that'll be a good option if we run out. So I'm just talking to you while I plan ahead. That's how I do these things. Anyway, just getting this meat cooked down. Lady sitting here relaxing. Let's take a peek at Lady. 
Lady's always sitting there next to me. Hey, you. Say hi to the peoples. Hey, girl. So here are my leftover black beans, and here's some leftover rice. And I have this little pan, and I actually, I think I might need to get a bigger size pan. This is, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these black beans in the pan. And the amount of rice in the pan will depend on how much beans I have in there. i gotta, I got to visualize it. You know, sometimes you just cook with your eyes. Once I see it and it looks like it's the right consistency that I'm looking for, I'll add a little bit of water. And then that will be done. And then I'm going to add taco seasoning to both the beans and the turkey. You can't even see the black beans in the pan. <laughs> there they are. They're so dark. These are just beautiful, though. I love black beans. I truly do. Aren't they just beautiful? All right, I'm going to add some rice. Okay, so here are my black beans and rice now that I've actually put it in here and mixed them up. And once you mix them up, this is about... Let me see if I can get that. There we go. This is about what you're looking for. That's the amount of mix. Now, I haven't put any water in here yet, and you need the water to um, make sure it's not so dry. All right, so I added the water, and you can see it's like just, it's not even really covering these beans and rice, and that's because you don't want the rice to get too much water, but I need a little bit in there because we're going to add the seasoning on top, and I, just like when you have the meat, you want there to be a little bit liquid, and then when you sprinkle the seasoning on top, the liquid will wear down, and then that will be the time that you know that it's all done. So that's just the jar the black beans are in. I'm going to clean that, don't worry. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on the stove, and I'm going to keep it on a really low heat when I put the seasoning on it. Okay, that's actually like half a packet. And so I'm just going to stir it in to incorporate it. And... That is going to be what we use. So I'm going to keep stirring this and just say to you that I know that a lot of times when you think about um, Hispanic food, you think about refried beans, which are great, and I and I definitely have them on occasion. Um, but it's such an easy meal to just use up your leftovers <laughs> if you just take a little bit of black beans and use it this way. I'm trying to remember what I used black beans for the other day. It's funny, I, I can't even remember, but I had a can, I had a jar of black beans, and I only used a few of them, you know, just a little bit, and now I'm like, I have all these black beans, I need to use it. Maybe next week I'll do the refried beans. I have it all mixed and incorporated now. Let's see if you can see it, probably not. But I'm going to put this on the stove and let it cook on a low heat for a little bit, and I'm going to add the seasoning to the meat. You know, I think my first cooked dinner with me was also tacos. <laughs> Thinking back, I'm like, have I repeated all of this before? Maybe. I think I did. I think the first time I told you about how to use meat that was frozen. I don't know if I told you about the beans and rice. I might have told you before. I don't know. You're hanging out with me. You can hear my story twice. It's fun, right? All right, so the ground turkey is cooked, so I'm going to add taco seasoning. This one was one that was opened. We used it just for a little flavor in one dish this week. I don't even know which one. And I just sprinkle it on. And you're supposed to put two thirds cup water in a pound. So I'm gonna add a little water. I'm just gonna stir that up and get that incorporated. And then we're gonna work on this, cheese. I had some cheese that needed to be shredded and uh, we're gonna use that tonight. Let's talk about shredding cheese. So we started shredding cheese when Ricky was gluten-free. When he lived in the house, he was gluten-free. And shredded cheese, pre-shredded cheese that you buy in the store has, like, I don't know what it exactly it is, it's like some kind of wood pulp or something. That's a problem for people who are gluten-free. So we had to start buying blocks of cheese and shredding it ourselves. So I have a grater, just like a little cheap grater that you would get anywhere. And here's a couple of things that I will tell you about shredding cheese. If you do not do it yourself, maybe you're not aware of this. I don't know. That's why I'm telling you. So here's something you should be aware of. Number one, watch your knuckles. <laughs> that goes without saying, right? Um, number two, I always use the tinier shreds when I'm doing cheese, just because... 
cheese that's shredded in the bigger shred, you use much quicker much quicker because it takes a lot more cheese to cover you know if you're sprinkling it over something it takes a lot more so if you use the smaller shreds it takes less I'm gonna stir this meat up while I talk here is my other piece of advice y'all and this take this one to heart take this one to heart embrace it make it your own never ever walk away from this piece of cheese shredding advice I'm also stirring up the beans and rice. Are you ready? As soon as you're done shredding this cheese, put soap on it immediately and wash it off immediately. Make sure you get inside and out. Wash it immediately. Hand wash it. <laughs> Do yourself a favor. There is nothing worse. You will want to throw it away. There is nothing worse than dried cheese on a cheese grater. Don't do it to yourself. So that's my golden piece of advice when it comes to shredding your own cheese. But I highly recommend it. I think it's my, I, I like it better than buying pre-shredded cheese. Um, frankly, it's kind of giving me the, I don't know the right word. I don't know if encouragement is the right word, but just, you know, in my mind, I'm like, I could go get fancy cheeses. I, you know, you kind of limit yourself just to what's in the shredded cheese section, or you could just go get big blocks of fancy cheese and incorporate that in. And honestly, you know, you'll notice that my bags of cheese, and just finish shredding this a little bit, they're a mix. Because most of the cheese that I use for everything, I'll just use a mix. You know, this is, I usually get cheddar and mozzarella. I don't mix Swiss in with everything else. Swiss has its own kind of distinct flavor. But cheddar and mozzarella, I can use it for tacos and I can use it for pizza. It works for either one. Um, so, but if you put, if you have like a Havarti or some other kind of cheese that you don't normally have, maybe not Havarti, but <laughs> if you throw a different one in, um, it just, it really changes the flavor in a noticeable way and it makes the whole thing feel more fancy. You can take just the tiniest little sliver and throw it in a big bag with cheddar and mozzarella and it would actually make quite a difference. And that's a great way of stretching your budget and still getting to experience fancier cheese. Make sure though if you buy fancy cheeses that you actually enjoy a little bit on its own just to enjoy the flavor of it for what it is. Just stirring again, one more recommendation when you shred cheese, watch your nails. I always have fairly long nails, but look, off of one of them. I always rub it down with my hand for give it a little bit. I went ahead and cleaned the other stuff too, so empty sink. Very few dishes tonight. Okay, look at Brianna ready to eat her tacos. Okay, so dinner is ready. I'm going to switch this around so I can show you what all is on the counter. It got dark, I had to turn the lights on, but this is the beans and rice. Looking delicious. You didn't know it was going to turn out like that, did you? Meat, looking good. I've got uh, the romaine and the spinach, more romaine. Salsa, ranch, cheese, and we took out our packet bag. You know everybody's got a packet bag. And it's got um, taco seasoning and stuff in there, so we'll, some people might enjoy that as well. We'll try to get rid of everything, but got the taco shells getting ready to come out of the oven, and we shall eat. All right, so Brianna's got her taco. Can I get your taco? Let's see what it looks like. What do you got in there? Um, cheese, meat, lettuce, and salsa. <laughs> you got a packet, too. Here's mine. I, Mom always takes the broken shells. So I have the broken shells that I turn into like a nacho-y thing. And on the bottom there, I do have uh, beans and rice. I did throw a little bit of the turkey in just for some seasoning, you know, a little flavor. But, well, texture, I should say. But, um, let's see, I got the cheese, spinach, salsa, and ranch. And that's going to be mine, and I can't wait to eat it. Rick will be home any minute, but I'm going to finish my filming so I can go ahead and eat. So thank you for joining me while I make dinner and uh, come back. 
We'll do this again sometime. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>